Hello everyone! In this video you can watch me make a resin geode flower tray again. Uh, in my previous video I used the flower technique on two layers of resin and for this tray I want to try it again. So I hope you enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. Yeah, I want to try that flower technique on two layers again uh, to create more depth. So I already started with pouring a thin uh, resin layer into my uh, silicon mold. And I'm using the silicon mold from Molds and Shapes. And it's their geode tray mold in the size XL, extra large. Using my heat gun to remove uh, air bubbles. And the resin I'm using is from Resin Pro. It's their low viscosity resin. So that means very thin. In the center, some crushed glass in the color bright gold. This week, they will be added to my Etsy shop. And they are so nice to use in a coaster or in a tray. Because the pieces are not that large. They are 1 to 3 millimeters. So very suitable for coasters and uh, uh, trays. Again, the heat gun to remove air bubbles. Yeah, I want to try that uh, flower technique on two layers to create more depth. Because I thought in my previous video the tray looked very nice and it had a lot of depth. So not, why not try it again? So I'm almost done with this layer, then I will leave it for 45 minutes and then I will add the colors. So we are 45 minutes later. Later I'm starting with the first color, it's from Ranger and it's the Honeycomb. Also around the crushed glass. And I'm going to use nice bright colors. And the second color I'm going to use, also from Ranger, and it's the Sunset Orange. And another color from Ranger, and this is the Raspberry. Yeah, normally I'm adding the colors uh, after 45 minutes, what you see me do now. But I'm also going to experiment uh, when I add the colors right away and then wait 45 minutes. But that's in a future video. Yeah, I'm heating the surface a little bit, not the alcohol ink because then I will then the colors will be uh, dried and that's not what I want, so only around it. So again the honeycomb color. And this is a very large tray from Molds and Shapes and they have great quality uh, trays and other silicon molds. But um, they, they come in different sizes, but I'm using the XL size, that's the, uh, that's the a very large size, and um, yeah, if you're interested in their silicon mold, the, the link to their website is in the description below this video, and don't forget to use my promo code, if you use my promo code JUSTPAINT5, then you will get 5% discount. So this color is called Current, also from Ranger. A very dark shade of red. And on top I'm adding white lines in circles. And this is a mixture of Resident Max Titanium White and a few drops of Let's Resin Alcohol Ink. Also in the color white. And this color was already mixed. Uh, 
right away. So it, I also leave this color for 45 minutes. Now some lines from the outside to the inside. I'm, I'm mentioning that because I uh, get a lot of questions when I mix the colors. Now I'm only using white. But I mix it right away. And I leave it in the paper cup. And after 45 minutes I add it into a, a piping bag. Also some lines from the inside to the outside. Using my heat gun to remove air bubbles, but also to create effects. So this is only the first layer. Very thin layer. So after this layer is dry, I'm going to add a second layer. I'm also going to swirl the center, need to be careful because I also added crushed glass. Again some lines from the inside to the outside, there you can see it. Not from all the way from the center, only the darker red color. Yeah, and the resin uh, I'm using has a working time of one and a half hour. So that's why I waited for 45 minutes, because then the resin will get thicker. So if you, it all depends on the working time of your resin. So if you have a shorter working time, then you don't want to wait for 45 minutes. Maybe you only need to wait for 15 minutes or 20 minutes. That's yeah, what you need to uh, experiment with. So if you're interested in the resin that I'm using, uh, the link to the uh, website of Resin Pro is in the description below this video. And also for, for that website I have a discount code. If you use my code Petra then you will get 10% discount on your order. So that's great. So I'm done with this layer, and now I will let it dry. So we are one hour later, and I wanted to show you how it looked after one hour of drying. And it already changed a bit. I think those colors go very well together. They are very bright. I love to work with bright colors. Yeah, you can't see the white that I added on top of the alcohol ink colors. But hopefully when I take it out of the mold, it looks great. I love the darker color of, on the outside. And also the lines. Very nice. So I will let this dry and then I will add a second layer. So we are 24 hours later and now I'm going to start on the second layer. Again I'm using the resin from Resin Pro. Again, I'm going to add a very thin layer, and then I will leave that layer for 45 minutes, and after 45 minutes, I will add the alcohol in colors. And I already mixed the white, so also the white color I will leave for 45 minutes, and then I will add it into the piping bag. Pushing the resin against the silicon, there you can see it with my steering stick. And hopefully this way I can create some nice depth. And 
and also I I would really like it if the tray can be used on both sides so hopefully the other side of the tray will also be nice again going to use some crushed glass in the center adding a little bit more resin because the layer is not thick enough Again, using my heat gun to remove air bubbles, but also to make the resin a little bit more liquid. So we are 45 minutes later, and now I'm going to add the alcohol in colors and the white lines. And the white is already thicker, so hopefully I can create some nice effects with that. So the first color is again the honeycomb color around the crushed glass and also on top of the red the honeycomb color so this time on this layer I'm going to use two colors and this is the sunset orange. And on top, the white lines that I made again with the Resitint Max Titanium White and a few drops of Let's Resin Alcohol Ink, also in the color white. So all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video. And I always add the, ink, uh, the link to the websites, so if you're curious, please check out the description. Again, some lines from the outside to the inside and I'm using a dotting tool for that. I think that works uh, very well. And also some lines from the inside to the outside. Yeah, I already mentioned my promo codes. Uh, I have several, so not only for the Resin Pro Company um, or Mulch and Shapes, but I also have a promo code now for um, the Craft Resin uh, Company. So if you uh, buy through the links I added in the description for Europe, USA and UK, then you will get 5% discount on your order. So that's also amazing. So I'm done with this layer and uh, I will let this dry, of course. Yeah, we are one hour later again and I'll, I really wanted to show you how it looked. I think it already has some amazing depth. There you can see the lines that I made and the white that I added in the second layer. Yeah, I'm very pleased how this side of the tray looks. So hopefully it will dry this way.
Yeah, some amazing effects. Yeah, very nice. So I will let this dry for 24 hours and then I will take it out of the mold. Yeah, we are 24 hours later. What I didn't show you is that I added the mold with clear resin all the way to the top. And now it's time to take it out of the mold. Because I'm also very curious how the white looks on the edges. And what I can see is that it looks very nice. So I'm very pleased how this side of the tray looks. Some amazing effects, a great depth. Yeah, you can't see it that well, but at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a close up of both sides of the tray. But I'm very happy how this side looks. So now the other side. And there you can see it. Also, some nice effects. But what I will do the next time, I will wait a little bit longer because I have some uh, white dots. It's not disturbing, it looks nice. So I'm very pleased. So this is the end result. I have it outside in the daylight and this is the side how I poured it, and I think this side looks amazing. It has great depth, hopefully you can see it. And I think the white on the edge looks amazing with the dark red color on top. Yeah, some great effects. So I for sure I'm going to experiment with uh, this technique on two layers again. And also more experimenting with the waiting time. Maybe I will wait uh, 15 minutes or 55, I'm not sure. And this is the other side. So what I already mentioned, there are some white dots. Because white is a very heavy color, and if the resin is too thin, then it will sink to the bottom. So that's why I uh, want to experiment with the waiting time a little bit more. But already I, uh, there are some great effects. There you can see it. Different layers, great depth. So let me know what you think of my uh, resin geode flower tray. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider it. I have a lot of tutorial videos, not only resin, but also acrylic and alcohol ink and a lot more. Um, the supplies I've used you can find in the description below this video. Don't forget my promo codes. I have several now and there are more to come. And um, there's a lot of information in the description. So I want to thank you all for watching again and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!